afternoon. Folks, I'd love just a, a little bit of your attention. I know you all have somewhere to go, folks, but this is very important. This is the only good news you're going to get out here on Hollywood Boulevard, folks. And every one of us could use some good news today. Folks, you know what most of these stars have in common? A lot of them, anyways? Folks, the people are dead. Folks, they're gone. They're only immortalized in these stars, folks. And just like these Hollywood stars, folks, you and I have an appointed time where we are going to perish as well. Folks, in the Bible says that it is appointed for man to die once, and after this comes judgment. Folks, there is no reincarnation. None of you are going to come back to be a Hollywood star. Folks, every one of us will have to face a good and righteous and loving judge. And he's going to judge us based on his standards, folks. Not our standards. How many of you think that you're a good person? And if you were to stand before today, you'd be able to say, yes, I am a good person. Folks, none of us will be able to do that. Folks, if you've ever told a lie, what does that make you? It makes you a liar. If you've ever stolen anything, folks, what does that make you? It makes you a thief. Folks, Jesus said, even if you look at a woman or man with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery already with her in her heart. Sir, have you ever committed adultery before? Twice. Twice. What are you going to say to God on Judgment Day? That's not good enough. A good, righteous judge. A good, righteous judge, folks, would not just let a murderer go, would he? In fact, if you were a murderer, a rapist, a thief, and you stood before a good, righteous judge, and he said, I'll let you go because you're sorry, we would have that judge impeached immediately, for he wouldn't be a good judge at all, would he? He'd be a corrupt judge. Folks, our Heavenly Father, our God, your Creator, is a good, righteous judge, and he must, he must punish sin. Doesn't that make sense? Folks, I know every one of you, you have a logical mind. You think you're, you're smart, people. You understand that sin must be punished. Folks, God must punish sin, and he will punish sin. If we've lied, if we've stolen, committed adultery in our heart by lying, if you've ever hated anyone, the Bible says you're a murderer at heart if you hate it. Folks, and we've got to face this righteous judge. But there's good news, folks. There's good news. 2,000 years ago, God loved you so much and had so much mercy that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ. I on the cross, you know the cross was? It was God sending his son to take your penalty for your sins and my sins on that cross. And then he rose from the grave three days later, conquering death, conquering death, defeating death. And we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus Christ. We too, folks, can have God look upon us with his son's righteousness. That's right, if you repent of your sins, lying, thieving, having adultery in your heart, having murder in your heart by hating people, if you repent of those sins and trust in Jesus Christ like you would trust a parachute if you had to jump from an airplane. Folks, that's the kind of trust we need to have for Jesus. It's not just a belief. The Bible says that the demons believe. Demons believe and they even shudder. Folks, how more should we believe? But it's not just a belief. We must trust in Jesus Christ like you'd put your trust in a parachute if you had to jump out of a plane. Repent of your sins. Turn from your wicked ways and trust in Jesus Christ. And then God will look upon you with His Son's righteousness and you'll be able to stand before Him on the day of judgment. Not because of your goodness, folks, but because of what He did for you on the cross. Folks, Jesus cries out to humanity today. And he asks, who will accept my sacrifice on the cross? Who will take my picture? Who will care more about me and what I have done for you on that cross than you care about dead Hollywood stars? Folks, we are out here because we love you.
The Bible tells us that we are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, and strength. That is the first commandment. Has any of us kept the first commandment? Folks, if we love the Lord with all of our heart, mind, and strength, no, we've turned our back on Him. We've shunned Him with our sinful life. Yet He loved us so much, folks, that He made a way. He made a way to save us from our sins. Yes, folks, we are steeped in sin. If you've ever told a lie, you're a liar. If you've ever stolen anything, you're a thief in God's sight.